so hello guys welcome back to the channel here i'm back with another pre-assessment challenge that is if you complete one lab you'll be able to get the entire batch without any issue so now click on the start challenge i'll share the link in the description no need to worry about it now what you have to do you have to just click on start lab now for the remaining pre-assessment skill badges you can check the description now here just start the lab and launch with credits if you need credits you can check the description for that too now let's start the lab see this kind of waiting time no need to worry just wait for it and if you get any error just restart the lab again so now finally the lab has been started now you have to just open the cloud console in cognito window so just open it and sometimes it asks for username and password and sometimes it does not ask like it signs in automatically so you need to check the lab for it i will show you now the main thing is that here we have to activate the cloud shell so how you will activate the cloud shell you have to just click on this button let me show you which button click on it now just click on continue and authorize yourself now let me increase the font size now you have to just open a new tab click on the plus icon just on the cloud shell like this and we will be using these two cells so now the main thing is that you have to come back to the github repo and just export the zone for that you need to open any personal notepad and just come back to the lab instruction like this and from here you have to just explore the zone so you can see if you are unable to find use control f and zone now you can see in the lab manual here is the zone so just copy the zone carefully and then come to the notepad and paste now you have to paste this on the two shells on the two shells first on here now just open this one the second shell just paste over here now come back to the first shell and now go back to the github repo now from the github repo copy this and just paste over here now it will take some time so just wait for it and apart from this if you want to move you can go for the second step also but first let's wait you can see the cluster creation is showing done but it will create more cluster inside it and the backup will also be created so now after creating the cluster it is creating the instance so now the next step is that we have to initiate the SSH on the second shell just open the second shell now from here on the github repo just initiate the SSH for a dog client copy it like this paste over here and here if you are prompted to type y and then hit enter so just type y and hit enter if you are prompted now we have to export the private ip that is present on the instance which is being created as you can see here is the instance is being created so how you have to find it i will share you no need to worry about it so let me show you now go back to the github repo you can see open this link right click and open it basically it will open the adopt client and we'll be able to see the instance and the backups also so currently the instance is being created so come back here see here the instance and the mini instance is also there so basically the cluster and the mini instance i mean to say now here what you need to do you have to open it like this so it's reloaded itself now click on this lab instance now here you will see the status is ready now if you don't see the status is ready no need to worry about it click on the connecting configuration now here you have to copy the private ip like this so from here just copy the private ip make sure to copy up to here don't copy the next one after the 54 Three to like this just copy this one and from here click on this export allow 
db equal to come back here paste over here and then select all close the notepad now do one thing come back to the cloud shell and just open the second shell now paste over here now once you have exported type i mean hit enter after pasting it now run this command now run the next command for the next command you will be prompted to enter the power enter the password so for the password where you find the password it is present on the github repo i'll show you no need to worry about it now come back here and just run this one number five one copy it paste over here and for the password just copy the change through me you can see here just copy it like this now you may face any kind of error so if you face error you need to wait for the cluster to get ready let me show you wait a minute as you can see the status shows ready generally it shows connecting so you need to wait until the status change is ready then just run the command now let now let's complete the next steps so you have to just run the query one by one just run it press it and have it. press enter basically paste and hit enter second query third query fourth query fifth query sixth query and all queries have been done make sure to check now let's check the score so basically we won't be able to get the full score because the backup is still being created so mostly we'll get 75 out of 100 i think so you can see it's really working so just wait for it So finally after waiting to 5 to 10 minutes uh, all tasks have been executed now we have to just move to the lab instruction and check the score. Now finally we have got the full score without any issue and just wait for a few more seconds. And if you are unable to see the score what you need to do you need to just keep hitting check my progress. So only the this check my progress bar is not showing else all things have been done you can refresh the browser also but this is i won't recommend because it's a pre-assessment patch and you may not get the patch now in the lab and let me show you how you can claim the patch so once you have clicked on end lab you can see the course section you will get a pop-up you have earned the patch so all labs have been done we have completed one more lab for remaining labs remaining skill badges you can check the description i have shared all the 12 labs 12 skill badges in the description thank you guys do and the arcade points have a great day ahead